Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. We are studying in the biostatistics and uh, research methodology. Okay. And in this video, we will take the risk. We will put our head into the um, tiger's mouth. Yeah, we will take a risk and we will measure the risk. How much risk we have taken, that we will measure. So our topic is attributable risk and relative risk. Two terms, keep in your mind attributable risk, relative risk. Okay, how to measure? These two are used to measure the risk, how much risk we are taking. Okay, see the diagram, how the baby uh, is taking a much risk, the girl is taking a much risk. Okay, see risk measurement. See how I am measuring in the diagram, I am measuring with the help of a tape, I am measuring the risk. Is it possible to measure the uh, risk? Yeah, it is possible only, but there is some units are there, uh, not length. This is a length, centimeters and all. How to measure the risk? That we are going to be seeing. See here, one example I have given. Uh, this person has kept his mouth, uh, his, uh, sorry, his head into the mouth of the crocodile for a 12 second. 12 second. This person has kept for a 18 seconds. So who is taken more risk? Blue shirt person taking a more risk. Like that simple terms we can use and finally we can tell how to measure the risk. Now we are measuring the risk of a disease. Okay, in the country, in the state. Okay, what is the risk? Okay, yeah. This is the syllabus of your uh, biostatistics and research methodology as per the Pharmacy Council of India, Pharma D course, fourth year. Okay, but it is a common for uh, all B Farm C, M Farm C, okay, uh, Pharma D, all the courses. Uh, at the bottom, you can see that statistical methods in epidemiology. All this portion, uh, entire syllabus, I have completed and kept all my videos in the playlist. In my channel's playlist, you can uh, see that. Uh, here, 2.4, see that statistical methods in epidemiology, incidence prevalence completed. Now, relative risk, attributable risk. These are the two things what we have to cover in this video. Statistical methods in epidemiology is broadly divided into three categories. Absolute risk. It is also called as a incidence and prevalence, which we saw in the, my last video. Okay, I have already explained. And next is attributable risk, AR. Whereas absolute risk, we are not calling as a AR. Keep in your mind. Whenever AR comes, blindly keep in your mind, it is an attributable risk. Okay? And RR, it is a relative risk. <clears throat> yeah. This is the main thing what you have to Very simple. Very, very, very simple. Very interesting. And total complete concept will be there in your finger, uh, in your grip. Okay, this is the main thing. What you have to understand. Very simple, very easy. See here, cohort study. This is a cohort study. And this is a contingency table, two by two table. This is also called as a two by two. If you understand this table, total topic comes behind you. You need not to be go behind the topic. Topic comes behind you. Okay. Contingency tables, cohort study. Very simple. See here, exposed. Those exposed to the smoking. See here, smoking. Exposed to the smoking. They got a disease of COPD. It is a lungs disease. Leads to asthma and leads to cancer also. See here, exposed means the persons who are all smoking and cases they got COPD disease is called as a A number. This is number. Let's say some 10 people or 15 people say something number is there. A. Whereas here, controls they do not got COPD, but they are exposed. See, they are smokers only, but they do not got COPD. It is called a B. Some number is there, something number. 
if you add a total you will get a a plus b all these are the a plus b are the smokers only a is a smoker b is also smoker a is the smoker and got a disease b is the smoker but not got the disease and see unexposed non smokers they are not exposed to the smoke cases even though they are not smoking they got the disease due to their genetical history or due to the other pollution due to the industrial pollution due to the environment they got a disease copd this called as a c and d control they do not get a disease they are not exposed to the smoke also not smoking that's it so exposed are the smokers unexposed are the non smokers and cases is nothing but they got the disease controls are the they do not got a disease very simple a b c d if you add a total a plus b you will get here c plus d non smokers a plus c cases number of cases those who got a copd b plus d those do do not got a copd and a plus b plus c plus d four it is a total of a rows uh, columns and rows this is a very simple term. very simple no uh, yeah here here same a b c d see here relative risk attributable risk this is the factors exposed smokers non non smoker same concept incident that is a, a copd disease yes no a b c d total a plus b c plus d c so i gave the color also here exposed group non exposed group different color i have given now what i do with the help of a b c d only relative risk i will measure relative risk is equal to a plus a divided by a plus b whole divided by c divided by c plus d is nothing but a relative risk very simple relative why we are calling the word of relative means we are giving a relationship between the exposed persons non exposed persons in the exposed persons how much they got a disease in the non exposed disease how much they got disease and what is the risk of smoking that is called a relative smoking relative risk how many here you can see the definition how many times factor exposed exposure would increase the incident of a individual is equal to incidence risk among an uh, exposed group divided by incidence risk among the non exposed group we see here exposed group we are comparing with non exposed both having a risk both having a risk then you can say it is simply relative risk here you can see relative risk larger than 1 represents that risk have increased due to the factor exposure and here you can see attributable risk it is simply minus incidence risk among an exposed group minus minus incidence risk among a non exposed group see here minus same characters only here you are doing a minus where you are dividing it divided by the in relative risk you got my point same formula a here also you can see a by a plus b minus c by c plus d where there a by a plus b divided by c by c plus d that's only the thing that's it khel katam dukan band here uh, the running matter is there uh, attributable risk is uh, ar it is a part of the incidence not the prevalence see my first video i have already told what is the difference between the incidence and the prevalence okay very simple topic this is the part of the incidence only of a disease in the exposed smoker or whatever it may be exposed in case we have taken the smoking and the lung disease as a example here those exposed to the risk factor that is due to the exposure 
it is the incidence of a disease in the exposed that it would be eliminated disease would be eliminated if the exposure were eliminated if he is not smoking he will not get disease if he is smoking he will get a disease such a type of cases comes in the attributable risk when you are multiplying the attributable risk with the 100 you will get a attributable risk percentage remaining everything same ar percentage this is a matter uh, attributable risk is a, a difference in a rate of condition between an exposed population and an exposed population it is a cohort study these type of studies are called as a cohort studies you are comparing with exposed group and non exposed group comparing cohort studies where individuals are assembled on exposed stages followed over a period of time and you are uh, taking a data okay you can do in the diabetes also those who are all taking a white rice not taking a white rice they will also get sugar these will these also get sugar you compare that type of studies is called as a cohort studies next p a r population attributable risk population p a r is the portion of the incidence of a disease in the population exposed and the non exposed it is called the same definition you can be right and here percentage is also there par is equal to ip minus iu ip is ip is nothing but a exposed uh, exposed iu is nothing but unexposed here i have mentioned unexposed say exposed this is the par equation for the, in the examination they will ask what is par attributable risk relative risk par par percentage into 100 if you do you will get a par percentage this is a relative risk definition it is a measure of association between a disease or a condition on a factor under a study incidence in the exposed divided by incidence in the non exposed okay uh, same matter what is a r rr if rr is a, greater than if rr is equal to 1 these three conditions you have to write in the examination if rr is equal to 1 it means that incidence in the exposed is the same as that of the non exposed same they have a same risk these are also having a same risk no change in that if rr is greater than 1 larger incidence in the exposed than the non exposed if rr less than 1 it denotes a smaller incidence in the exposed one greater risk rr is greater than 1 then definitely it is a dangerous exposing otherwise it is a same only like yeah how to calculate the relative risk with the example okay so here i have given the formula uh, a by a, a plus b divided by c by c plus this table is very important here they are measuring the exposure and cancer of a lung cancer and uh, exposed okay to the smoke here you can see the number 354, 143, 293, 511. So if you do a formula, you will get a relative risk. And one more uh, term is also there, odds ratio, ODD, yes, ratio of calculation. This is also A by B divided by C by D. All R comes in A, B, C, D only. These are the four things. That's why I have told entire concept is on the ABCD only. If you change ABCD formula and terms will be changed. So that you can perform in your uh, project studies also pharma D students. Whenever you are in a um, fifth year or sixth year, you can perform all these uh, statistics. Where you are in a hospital, you can do a perform a cohort studies on various diseases. You can submit your project. You can calculate odds ratio. You can publish the papers also. Journal publications, etc. and all. Yeah. Here I took a one wonderful example and I have calculated all uh, relative risk, attributable, everything I have shown uh, with single example, odds ratio, everything. Here, we see here, eating a fish. If you are eating a fish, your heart will be good. That is one of the uh, thing I have taken. The preventive advantages of preventive advantages see here prevention prevention is better than cure preventive advantages of eating a fish has been reported in a numerous studies a recent because heart consists of a, your fishes consists of a 
chemicals which are very good for the heart okay uh, that you can see fatty acids uh, here you can see eating a fish uh, see here they are not eating here never almost daily they are eating here you can see cases of a strokes 82 cases are ye non cases of a stroke they did do not got a uh, stroke like that a b c d don't change the order a b c d that you have to keep now here this is a total of the rows and columns everything i have made so eating fish and stroke is the cohort study here okay in this we will find all the things incidence incidence in the exposed incidence in the unexposed incidence in both combined okay ar attributable risk what is the percentage ar percentage pr pr percentage rr relative risk everything i have calculated okay take a screenshots all take a screenshots need not to be write a separate notes and before the examination you have to rewind the video okay and uh, finally what you have to see conclude and see here i will tell one conclusion relative risk here rr is 1.75 what is the meaning of it those who never eat a fish have a 1.75 times 1.75 times much risk when compared to the to those who eat the fish okay if you are not eating a fish you are dangerous you are in dangerous 1.75 times than that of those taking the fish like that conclusions you have to made all the thing okay so i will end my session here so thank you thank you very much so you can practice various cohort studies uh, various calculations